got a great product to show you today. I'm really excited because this is a long time coming. Panama Hats has got finally has their updated website. And if you're a big fan of these wonderful hats from Ecuador, uh, you're going to be really, really grateful for this. I absolutely love a good Panama hat. Uh, and they're a little bit hard to get sometimes and quite expensive, but you can actually obtain one directly from Ecuador where they're made. Yes, I know that's a little bit confusing why an, Ec an Ecuadorian hat is made in Panama, but there's a long story behind it because uh, about the Panama Canal. It's a story about the Panama Canal where workers were brought up from Ecuador to work on the Panama Canal and they brought their wonderful hats with them. And obviously those people around who did not understand the situation, did not know exactly where coming from, uh, looked at those hats and called them Panama hats. And therefore that became sort of a... Um, it's sort of a nickname, but uh, there's more on that. Big story about that on, online. You can look that up if you want to. But needless to say, these wonderful hats, handmade in in uh, Monte Cristo and, and Cuenca, uh, Ecuador. I think you're going to love them. Uh, the owner of the place, uh, Panama Can uh, Hats uh, Direct, guy named by the name of Casey. What a wonderful fellow to work with. Great, honest, wonderful people. I think you're going to love it. And we're going to go through their great uh, new designing hat system here they have. Design a hat. Well, first of all, we're going to look at their choose a hat. You can choose a hat out of their inventory, and you've always been able to do this online, and it's great. You can just pick out your size and the style that you want and see if they have in stock. If they don't, then you can always go to their design a hat section. And these guys, this is just brilliant. I love this. I've been having so much fun with this to, to get myself a hat. Uh, you can just go over here. And if you see how this is set up, and you have a couple pictures, a couple of views, actually three different views, this would be a standard Fedora Ma Monte Cristi Subfino. And uh, with the 2.6 to 2.9 inch or 6.6 to 7.3 centimeter brim and a standard brim curl. Now, I've already picked one out earlier, but I'm going to run through it and show you how I did it. One is I'm going to go through all of the designs. So this is, of course, the, the bash on this is called the Classic Fedora. Uh, this is called the Gambler. And this is the Havana. I hope I'm not going too fast. This is the Optimo. Love it. And uh, this, after Optimo, the Padron. And I think there's one, the Patron middle line. Kind of has that kind of a ridge, same as the Optimo. And then you go here, the Pava is not quite done yet. There's a plantation, kind of a high brim. You kind of see those sort of in, uh, uh, like if you're seeing um, people on a plantation, like on Cuba or whatever, on a tobacco plantation, a cigar leaf plantation, and a Tribly. Tribly is kind of cool. I like that. We're going to stay with the Tribly right now, and then we're going to go through all of the grades. The different grades, the Monte Cristi Subfino is a very, you can see here, is a very uh, a thick weave. It looks great. The sub uh, Subfino is a, even a finer weave. And uh, by the way, these are made with a kind of a, a bleached palm leaf that's been split with a, with a thorn. It's great. It's really nice and actually has quite a soft feel to it. And the, the finer the grade, the, the softer it feels, almost to the point where it feels like fabric. And these are all woven by hand. Here is the, uh, here is the, uh, the Monte Cristi uh, Fino. And the Super Fino. Look at that. I don't know if you're on your computer you can even make that out. It's really fine. And you know it even gets even finer. Look at that uh, Monte Cristi Fino Fino, fine, fine. And then there is even a Monte Cristi Special Reserve, which is even yet finer. And these are beautiful. Well, for me today, I think I'm going to go with the Fino. I kind of like a little bit of a weave that you can see. And this is more within my budget as well. We're going to go over here and find my size, which is gra uh, Cabeza Grande, which is a... Uh, Seven and three quarters for uh, US 62 centimeter size 62. And you can use their hat sizing tool. You go over here and it'll tell you how to do it. And you can actually print out a measuring device to be able to, uh, and then cut it out on a piece of paper so you can measure yourself right online, get a good custom fit. Beautiful. Now, the, the brim, you can go real small 
up to big old plantation brim on there. That's a that's a bold looking hat right there. I'm gonna go with the small brim. I've got bigger brims, and this is a, kind of a change for me as well. And uh, just a little bit more convenient to going in and out of the office. A little bit a little bit crisper look for me. Although I love my big brims, they have their place. It's just something a little bit different. Now look at these different curls here. This is the standard brim that you're seeing right now, and I'm gonna give you a couple different views. Isn't that great how you can look at it? And then what we're gonna do is go to a three-quarter small curled brim. Look at that. It's a different look altogether. Then you go to the three-quarter uh, three large curl. Gives the hat quite a different look. It's starting to look more like something you'd see in a jazz band or something. Here's a large curl all the way around. Yeah, I can see a jazz player playing it wearing that. Beautiful. Yeah. And you wouldn't be wearing some cheap hat from uh, Target. You'd be wearing a really good quality handmade hat. And let's look at the small curl. Small curl gives a completely different look altogether. Kind of more of a pork pie. Really nice. Okay, let's go back to the one that I wanted, which was the standard brim. And now we're going to look at the hat band. The hat band, and this is so much fun. You can go through here and pick out the hat band colors that you want. See that change? Let's go look at some crazy colors. By the way, want plain leather or horsehair? It's all included in the price. Let's go get you something wild. Here's some really, you know, look at this silk. Beautiful. The brown silk. Kind of like this red silk, too. If you're in a band, this would be terrific. What if you're going to go uh, out on a cruise? All kinds of cruising, cruise colors. You're going to go on a uh, Caribbean cruise. What could be better? That would look great out on deck. Look at that. Maybe, uh, maybe you're going to get married in it. If you're going to have a, uh, you know, wear a gaiabera and a, and a straw hat uh, for uh, for your wedding. If you're going to have a wedding in uh, in the Caribbean, it'd be great. Look at this. Woo! That better match her dress. Really interesting. Kind of cool. Yeah. Here's one. Look at this hot pink. Boom. Well, if you're not you're not so uh, bold, you can always go back and uh, get something a lot more a lot more conservative. Kind of like that one too. Look at that. Really beautiful. Well, for me, I'm really interested in the horse hair. So I'm going to click that in today. I really like that. That's that's sort of my style. And then the next thing after that, after I checked my uh, size guide or asked the question, it's all interactive here. It'll actually tell you what you need to do. Uh, and you're, you're off you go. It'd be great. I'm still considering whether I go with a little bit bigger brim or the real small one. And I think I'll probably be going with the small one today, but we'll see. I'm going to look at it a little bit more. But that's what you have. This is terrific. And if you look back, at my old uh, channel, you know, my channel has been around for about 10 years. I have, uh, two years ago, I did a review of Panama Hats Direct and I just loved it. And there's a lot of explanation there in that, in that, in that uh, video that tells you all about the history of these hats and so forth. So you get a good idea. And about a year after that, I did another one in Mexico. I took this one to Mexico on the plane with me, the Panama Hats Direct Optimal Roll-Up. Oh, what a great hat. Perfect for that. Really, really was hot and sunny in central Mexico where I was there doing business, and I just loved it. So be sure to catch those two. And I've worn that throughout the year, the, the, in the past two years, I've worn these two hats and just loved them. They are my summer hats. And you know, I don't really wear them in, in the winter, but I do wear them all summer long and I try not to wear them in the rain either but they are terrific hats just love them hot sunny day you can't beat it if you're out on a cruise you're getting married in Mexico or on a, getting a married out in the Caribbean or something like that or you're in a jazz band or you just like these hats I think you're gonna just love them 
So, uh, yeah, my my congratulations to Panama Hats Direct. You guys have done a great job. Uh, Casey and the team down there, thank you so much. You guys are great. And be sure to check it out and be sure to subscribe and comment. And thank you always for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. Thank you, all of you. Take care. See you next time.